all American sharpener. There's several reviews on this. Place is still a pigsty. Of course, the V I made was just last night when I mounted my vice. Box, packaging, paraphernalia, assembly and use. I have a Honda grass cutter, so I got the adapter for that. Looks like a Honda adapter there. Advertisement, as everybody else's has arrived. Mine has arrived the same in this respectable packaging. Have the mounting plate like everybody else, which is a nice piece of stainless, it looks like, with some hardware and the pins that go on your grinder. I hope I have a correct flap wheel. Honda adapter for your Honda blades, for your Honda lawnmower. That's a lot of hardware. Honda had to make it complicated, huh? Here's the real deal here. It's nice. That is pretty, it's, you know, gotta hand it to America. We make nice stuff. Yeah, we're expensive, but such is life. Cousin Eddie says it's a good quality item. It's a good quality item. You know, looks, looks pretty nice. That opens nice and smooth as designed. Got the mounting screws, which the bracket goes in. Got this, or the, is it detented? Like, yep. That's your detents for your angles. Point of this piece of, uh, whether well, it's aluminum or it's steel, anodized metal, that tip gives you the degrees of which you grind. 15 to 45 in 5 degree increments. I might. I don't have one for 17. I might try to figure out how to sharpen knives with this thing. That was something I was going to try. Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing mounted up. So we need some Allen keys. That was a 730 seconds. I'm going to mount this and this vise. Vise mounting it on the top. So I want the mount to be face down like this. This goes on the top like so, the top face of the unit. Again, a 730 seconds, not included. You'll need your own 730 seconds, which some people complained. I personally think if you're gonna cut your own blades, you're gonna have your own Allen keys. I don't wanna go all the way down. I want a little bit of a gap, so mind the gap. Honda adapter manual. The screws used for blade retention are smaller. I'm gonna guess 3 16 Ha. Huh. For these mounting screws that the blade goes in, 3 16 All right, I gotta peel my blades off my mower. Honda lawnmower. Peel off. You don't just wanna tip it on on its side. Pull the spark plug cap. You want this thing to be top dead center, which I feel two bumps. I'm gonna go what it feels like the top of the second bump. What I'll do is very minimal oil is going to leak into the cylinder. Not enough to create hydrolock. Dual blade setup. Anytime you're working with lawnmower blades, I recommend some sort of hand protection. I don't know if these are lefty loosey righty tighty. Yeah, that is not tight at all. That was the center. Bottom blade was a little more stiff. Okay, these both came off with just the two out outer screws. You don't even need to loosen the center screw, which looks like there's a bearing in there. Interesting. Well, it wasn't the fact that it was loose. It was the fact that I was turning the crank. Put it back to where I had it. All right. So these are in pretty rough shape. I wasn't cutting the grass. I was hitting the grass. All right, so what I'm doing is putting the hardware on this. Quick lesson on nuts and bolts. If this just goes into an item to fasten two things together with no nut on the back side, it's a screw. If you're putting two items together with a nut on the back side, it's a bolt. Nuts and bolts, screw. A washer is a washer. My understanding, this only mounts one way in the grinder. So you, these mounting screws are close. These are further apart. This opens up, slide that in there, and there you go. So that's a little bit of play in there, but actually, let me tighten the thumb screw on the back. That might secure it. Yeah, I'm still gonna leave that loose for the time being. Let's figure out my blade angle. We secure wing nut on the blade. Looks very angled compared to the uh, arm. I do have to use this with the other holes, which I think I'm going to do because it's more straight. So what had happened when I had the blade mounted the first time, it was in the second set of holes. It was sitting like this. Let me get directly behind the grinder. I'm looking like this, and the angle of the blade this way is pretty straight. The angle of approach, pun intended, you want to take when grinding. This sitting in here the first time was like this, and that was a lot different angle, so I'm more comfortable with that. Time to set up the grinder. So the grinder I'm using is the uh, DeWalt, DWE402 is the grinder I'm using. So I'm gonna go with a uh, four and a half inch flapper. I'm gonna go the flapper wheel route. Ugh, Z36 grit. Ooh, I think that's the only thing I have. Yeah, that's all I have for a flap wheel. 
Z36. I don't know what Z36. I guess it's 36 grit, but I don't know what the Z is. Blade before, and I will show you after. Eye protection. I might grab some ears also. Everybody says use ears. Harbor Freight ears. Hey, wife. Hi, husband. So with this thing set up, you want the top arc of the blade, if that makes sense, to be center on the blade edge. I think for the most accurate grind. So I'm going to adjust this to move it to the right some. See where the top of my grinding wheel is. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Flap is center on the blade edge, or the blade face, the angled part, which is what I want. Do a test hit. All right. All right, so first hit, I see that my angle is way too flat. I'm putting on the 25 and see how that looks. Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's try again. Still don't think so. I'm going to bump it to 35. It's not getting the leading edge. I'm just going to go with that. 35. Let me show you what I got so far. As you could see, I'm hitting the edge, but there's all those nicks. So I'm going to keep going until I get those nicks out. Still some chunkage in there. All right, so the chunks are out, but left quite a burr on the edge. It's sharp. I'm not going to argue with that. I know it's good on a knife to have a burr, but this isn't exactly a knife. I don't necessarily want to grind the back side. It's sharp on both sides. I'm going to leave it. The yard will uh, flatten it out. That's what we're going to try. Probably cutting the grass tomorrow. I'll do an update on how the grass looks. Do a close up with the grass blades after interaction with the lawnmower blade. So, yeah, I don't have a balancer. He's using a punch. Punch is a balance. It seems to be pretty balanced. We'll find out. I think it's I think it's good. Seems pretty level. Put it back on. I'm gonna clean out the mower deck underneath the deck some. We'll test it just to make sure that it doesn't vibrate. Honestly, did not remember to balance the second blade, the big one, but we'll see. I know this is ridiculous. Yes, it's an electric start. Turn the fuel off. Turn it back on. Spark wire. Take three. No smoke. Feels good. No vibration. I mean, idle vibration. That's with the blade turning. And this is the mower Honda GCV 200 or HRX 217 Versa Mo. You see that? There we go. That's what we're working with. Yeah, it needs a rinse. I don't run a museum here, obviously. Though it is a piece of work in this shop. I think I'm going to be uh, happy with the results. I'll do a follow-up tomorrow after I cut the grass. All right, I just finished cutting the grass. And uh, it looks like the grass is cut and not torn for the most part. I don't know how well you can see that. There's some tears, but there's some cuts. Cuts a little bit better. I'll tell you the biggest difference I saw after sharpening the blade is the lawnmower was not laboring nearly as bad as it has been. Probably the time of year I need to start cutting every week and that's a path I guess that the previous homeowner put in that I'm not happy with. But yeah that the lawnmower is laboring a lot less. I've been stalling quite a bit and the only place I came close to stalling is over here where it used to be a tree. You can see I scalped it on either side, but it'll grow back. That's the only place that it almost stalled and I just lifted it up a little bit. The grass is greener, I think, after this cut because it didn't tear as much. Because this is a mulching lawnmower, there's probably some clippings that are drying out. That's giving it not that fresh green look, but that's all right. It's just grass. It's cut. doesn't look as good as some, but better than others. Better than paying uh, to have it cut. Do I think the uh, All-American jig is worth the money? Yeah, absolutely. How many new blades would you buy to pay for it? This is my third season without lawnmower and I never did replace the blades. So if you really want to see a difference, go three seasons, go two seasons without sharpening or getting new blades or a new blade and then either put a new one on or get this jig. And uh, yeah, I recommend it. Worth the money.